Hello everyone, here I'm back with another video. This time I'm trying to do something different and painting everything within Krita. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. The whole process for this painting took around 6 hours in total, taking some breaks. Here, as you can see, I'm blocking out the background, trying to get the depth or the separation of the planes correctly. Usually, my, my main focus is characters, landscapes I used to do at some point, but it's not my usual focus. It's not the main thing I, I enjoy doing. But I wanted to try it out and see how far I could push my painting skills within the program. As you can see, I am testing out different brushes. I'm looking for a specific brush that I used before within Krita. But I think because they updated the program, some of the brushes that they used to have no longer apply. I would have to double check that but I couldn't find the specific one I, I was looking for that sort of gives you an oil behavior to it that mixes up the the painting you can find similar ones but not exactly the one I was looking for maybe it's there I just couldn't locate it Here I'm not that happy with how it's turning out so I decided to move the character and change the pose to make the composition a little bit more interesting. I would say that something important to consider is if you're starting out with digital painting it's really important to not lose the motivation to get better at it it is a challenge to do because digital painting it's not easy i couldn't say it's easy and if you have a background like me with traditional mediums you can you can sort of leverage from that experience to get better results with digital mediums although I must say that's also why it can be frustrating sometimes because you're trying to achieve something that's really easy in traditional mediums but once you try it out in digital it doesn't translate the same way it doesn't behave the same way so I guess the takeaway I would say is don't give up continue to try and improve here I'm um, way happier with the pose of the character and the overall composition I saw that you have an option to mirror the canvas quickly with the tool that appears once you right click It allows you also to rotate the canvas and have access to different 
painting tools really quickly which is really convenient i usually i didn't uh, got into it into that tool that much because i it's, it's it wasn't something i incorporated into my uh, workflow but now that i tested the the tool i can say that it's really convenient i know photoshop has a similar option although i don't use it as much either it's a matter of what works for you the best here as you can see i'm getting to something more concrete about the painting I added a layer on top to play around with the lighting so you can see sort of the rays crossing the, the painting. But besides that, the rest of the painting, for 90% of it, it's all within one layer. I have a few layers for for this lighting effects and by the end you may see that I added a different layer as well for uh, for the leaves that you see in the painting. Here I'm trying to, I'm aiming to render the face of the character but I wasn't happy with it once I flipped the canvas it's also really important to keep in mind always to iterate on what you're doing and always check the proportions the composition so that way you can get to a better result by modifying what you already have well by the beginning of this i wasn't I didn't have a specific aim for the painting. I knew I wanted to draw a character, but it was completely out of imagination. To get into a little bit more of the details of the environment, I looked up a reference for the water to see how how it could play around with the reflections and that sort of thing. Although I didn't get into that much detail after, I was happy with what I got. You can also turn as I said the canvas which helps when you're painting with a tablet to accommodate your hand to the stroke that you're doing with the brush And this is the final result. Thank you for watching and feel free to follow for more. Bye.